Hello, 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 and happy Sunday to all of my amazing virgins, Virgos. Let's get into your reading. We're going to talk a little bit about the number zero, but let's get into it. This is your general reading, Virgos. There's no pressure if you want a personal reading, but the information is down below. That's only if you want to. Like I said, no pressure in getting any personal readings. Hopefully, you can get everything you need from this reading or whether somebody else is reading or whatever, but hopefully, you can get your answer, your questions answered. So let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Virgos. Let's go. Happy new moon. Yes, we're a new moon in Taurus. So this is where everybody's knowing their search, their self-worth, and they're adding zeros onto it. We're also, the moon is at zero percent illuminated. So that's how we're going to talk about the number zero a little bit on today. So let's see what these cards have to say. Let's see what these cards have to say, Virgos. Somebody's about to give birth to something they're very passionate about. So I see the roots of your money are very deep. And we're talking about the energy of money. We're talking about currency. This also ties into your self-worth. I'm not saying your worth, your dollar, the amount in your account equals what you're worth. Not at all. That's very third dimension, third dimensional worldly views, right? Somebody is starting to recognize this self-worth in every area of their lives, right? Um, we're looking at the high priestess and also the empress card. So this is the part of your rebirth coming through. Somebody is recognizing that you can't just keep trying to adjust to people's horrible treatment of you because you know your self-worth, you know what you've been put here to do, right? So I'm no longer going to take somebody's mistreating me, right? Here we have the 10 of pentacles. We have the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. So you've been, you've been planting those seeds of intention and it's harvest time for you all. It's harvest time. So there's even no need to even overthink this. I'm looking at legacy wealth here. And I'm also looking at you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money. So yeah, I'm seeing, you know, you either going into business with a person or um, in a romantic relationship or friendship with the person that you all are creating legacy together. What I'm seeing is somebody creating a company with somebody that they know, like somebody that you just connect with or you all are, both of you all attract the energy of money. So your time is not going to be wasted because you know your value. So I see you creating or collaborating somehow with, a, with somebody and you all are creating legacy together. So somebody really is in there you know, somebody is kind of fired up. Somebody may have Leo in their chart because we're looking at a lion here. You may have some, but you're kind of fired up. You're like, you know what? It's time for me to be happy again. It's time for me to be very um, um, proud of my accomplishment. Not in a prideful, egotistical way, but I'm very proud of what I bring to this earth. I really am very proud, and I say earth because of your earth sign, right? What I've contributed to this planet, I'm very proud of that. And so that's what somebody is firing up, right? Something in you is fired up. Your intuition is in full, high... Um, high intensity right now. You're, you're, somebody is having dreams about, you know, coming to, again, because your time is your currency. So you're using your time very wisely. You're being more conservative with your time because you know your worth. So when I say somebody's fired up, somebody's literally dreaming about what they can create that's going to leave a legacy to this whole world, right? The number zero hovers between worlds, between numbers of positive value and numbers of negative value, between the seen and unseen worlds. Um, so therefore, uh, zero represents a very unique power. If you add zero to any number, it expands and it empowers that number. So you think of a number, $1 or $10 carries more value. $10 or $100 carries more value. $100 or $1,000 or $1 million carries more value. So if time is currency, because that paper money and those coins are going away, we're in a, in a digital age, and you realize it's how valuable your time is, you wouldn't sit around overthinking anything. You wouldn't be sitting around worried about anything. You would leave that to God and say, okay, I've already planted that seed out there. I'm letting it grow. I may check on it every now and then, you know, peek in there every now and then just to make sure it's okay. But I'm not peeking in on it every single day. I'm not calling somebody every single day. I'm not revisiting something emotionally every single day because my time is currency. Yes. 
Yes. So somebody's getting fired up with some business ideas is what I'm seeing here. Um, focusing on nurturing yourselves more. Those of you who are interested in being in a romantic relationship, I see your twin flame coming in again, cause you're being more conservative with your energy. And so recognize that I'm not going to waste time on people who are just not on my same frequency. I already know what I want. I've already written it down. This is what I want in a person. This is what I want in a friend. This is what I want in a business partner. I'm not going to waste time overthinking. Did I make the right decision in choosing this business partner? This person seemed nice, but they didn't have everything I was looking for. So then they weren't, they're not a candidate. Move on, right? This organization seemed like, you know, it was nice. But upon, you know, examining every little thing, I don't know that this is on my same frequency. So this is not the organism, no matter how popular they are, right? Because again, you got to go on about the business of your money, currency, right? Your time. Remember, time equals currency, right? So here we have the nine of pentacles. I'm seeing financial independence. Financial independence. I do see somebody working for themselves, because you created space for that. So you're not overthinking stuff that's going on in your personal life. You're not overthinking that person you could have dated or that that uh, that uh, organization you could have entertained. I see somebody really, really in this mode right here, boss mode, leadership mode. The first person in your family doing something that nobody else has done. Why? Because you're getting as far away from any distractions as humanly possible. Because you're nurturing yourself. You're giving yourself the nurturing. You're talking to yourself. Remember, Gemini, you and Gemini share Mercury, the messenger planet, right? So you're sending out messages. You're verbally saying to source, I want dot, dot, dot. You're being very specific about what you want. So you know that's going to come back. And you're creating space for it to come back. And the only way you can do that is to get laser focused. Get away from all of the distractions, right? Things that you thought you lost in the last cycles are coming back around opportunities that you really want are going to come back around will you be ready this time virgos i see somebody will be ready this time because you're in a posture of gratitude because you're starting to see i've said this before and i'll say it again one of the things i really like about virgos or i really love about virgos not just like but really love about virgos is that you all are mutable signs and you all have learned to adjust adapt to um, listening to your intuition and acting, at least trying to act on it. Even if it's just kind of your quiet time, like, okay, let me see if this works. Let me, <laughs> let me ask for this. Let me see if it works. Well, I, I got a feeling about certain things. Let me see if this thing works. And then when it works, you go, oh, okay. It actually works. Okay. I want you all to start taking notes of things that you were, um, hesitant on before because like I said I see somebody going into business with somebody the way that the money is coming across your path is very differently than you thought um you could be creating a podcast with somebody you could be writing um you know creating a publishing company with somebody you could be even creating a record label or something with somebody you could um go into a healing business with somebody but it whatever you're going into business with somebody is right along that path of something that you're very passionate about, something where you have analyzed this in your spirit, like I really wish I could find somebody who could do this, that, and the other, who I could I could do this, that, and the other with. And boom, there's your person right there. There is your person, Virgo. I love it, love it, love it. Let's keep it moving. I like these cards. This is kind of an extended reading for you all. This is kind of an extended reading for my Virgos. I love it. But somebody is letting this devil energy in. Somebody's letting fear and doubt and all those things. That, this is where that overthinking is. Somebody's still operating in the flesh. You're going to have to... It's almost like Virgos. It's almost like somebody's afraid to dream bigger. Like you have this certain way that you feel like, okay, I got to do it this way. But you're afraid to think bigger and you're just... This is somebody, a person who's sabotaging themselves. And I said it right, be right before I even saw what this card was. Somebody's sabotaging themselves, right? They don't, they don't believe that a perfect job for them actually exists. It does exist. You're going to create it, right? You're going to create it so you can free yourselves. Yes, yeah, so you can free yourselves. I want you all to go online and look up some famous Virgos. Let's look up some famous Virgos. Let me pull out 
my um let me pull this out and see if i can find some famous virgos i really need you all to start kind of studying some other virgos um let's see beyonce's name popped up at the first of the list <laughs> oh i love beyonce so her name popped up first, then Zendaya's name popped up first, Selma Hayek names popped up first, Idris Elba, Keanu Reeves, who has a very interesting story. You all should really read his story, Keanu Reeves, very interesting story. Very nice um, actor, very nice person. Um, um, Cameron Diaz, Blake Lively, Michael Jackson, Adam, Adam Sandler, who is very funny, um, Pink, Melissa McCarthy, Jennifer Hudson, Kiki Palmer, Shania Twain, Amy Winehouse, Chris Pine, Lily Reinhardt, Amy Poehler, Nick Jonas, Bill Murray, Richard Gere, uh, Taraji P. Henson, Michelle Williams. This is the Michelle Williams that played in, uh, I think her partner played in, um, she played in a lot of movies and she's an actress. Um, yeah. Yeah, she played in a lot of movies. Um so you can look her up. Um, yeah, um, Prince Harry, uh, Sydney Sweeney. Those are some very famous um, Virgos. A lot of them will tell you that overthinking is really wasting time, is really wasting your resources, is really wasting money because you all are already predestined to be wealthy. You really are. You're already predestined to be wealthy. It's all the other stuff in between that'll cause you to be overthinkers of this and overthinkers of overanalyzing this and dissecting everything and being criti overly critical of yourselves and that kind of thing. When you watch them, some of those actors or actresses, they're not, and remember the spotlight is on them, Virgos. I mean, it's, it's like, it's not like you or I, where the spotlight is not on us, they're not following us. Paparazzi is not following us around 24 seven. The spotlight is on them. So they make any move. They trip up in the street. If it was you or I that tripped and fell in the street, it wouldn't even make the news. Nobody would even care. <laughs> but if it was one of them, it may make breaking news, right? Imagine being under that kind of scrutiny. Like you really, really have to focus on every little thing of being perfect. And if you're not, then, oh my God, little mister or miss perfect they they did such and such wrong and that kind of thing you really can learn from virgos who have gotten to that level in their lives where they've said you know what screw perfection really i'm going to just try to do my absolute best and just go with you know keep it moving forward right so somebody is ascending to their higher self. So somebody could have like a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other shoulder, really wanting to expand, but really scared because you're going to be put under that kind of scrutiny that these celebrities are being put under. But what you're going to learn from them is that toss perfection out the wind, do your absolute best and let the chips fall where they may. So somebody's being more, um, somebody is being more conservative with their energy, with their time, with the currency, which is all energy, right? You're being more conservative, caring a lot less about what people think and just going for it, right? Going for what you want. I've said this before and I'll say it again about Virgos. Because you all are the I analyze sign, you pay close attention to details that other signs miss. So a lot of you all get it right on the first try when other signs are trying to still get it right, right? So here we have, you know, here we have, you all are excellent to work on teams because a person could be thinking to say, respond in a very detailed way. And so they may just give a, you know, just a, you know, just give an answer. It could be the right answer, but a Virgo will take it and add more to it and say, it should be actually this. And so unless you're dealing with an insecure person, you know, the person may say, thank you. You know what? They're absolutely right. You know, they went more in detail. They went more in depth with the information, right? Not that they see you as competition or that you even see them as competition, depending on where you are in your space, in your mental space, right? But again, the energy of money is really trying to find you. It really is trying to, and this is, it's because we're in the new moon of, um, new moon of Taurus. That's what I'm saying. Prosperity lies ahead, but you have to know your self-worth Add zeros to your self-worth. That's your currency, right? Are you going to overthinking? It's costing you a lot of money. It's costing you multi-millions of dollars and a legacy you could leave behind. 
I know you're not sitting around thinking about who, who bit you, what snake bit you. I hope you're not. That lets me know that somebody is really, truly afraid of being wealthy. They're afraid of people digging back in your past and finding things about you. Let them create their karma, right? This snake had to bite you to wake you up, to inspire you, to get moving and get towards your wealth. Because again, very seldom do Virgos want wealth because, you know, just to live this life of luxury. And if you did, then that's your business. Guess what? We, we're we not your judges. Nobody's your judge. If you're living a life of luxury, but it's it, you usually um, Virgos um, don't mind having a lot of money because you're trying to help other people. So you all have a really giving heart in that sense of really wanting to help other people. So again, continue vibrating high with that. Let's keep it moving Virgos and my apology uh, for extending your reading, but yeah, somebody's really afraid of success at the root of it. Somebody's really nervous. They care about what people think. Somebody will say, well, I don't really care what people think. Well, then be successful then. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Go be successful. Ten of Cups. I see somebody in a very happy, harmonious relationship with their families. All because you took some time to look back at your life and say, I'm going to go out here and be successful. This is where you're going to show somebody better than you can tell them. Like seriously, perfect harmony and peace in your family. Whether you desire to get married or have adult kids or, you know, you haven't talked to your parents in a while or whatever the situation is, I see your family in perfect peace and perfect harmony because you decided to switch gears and get out of your own way and go be wildly successful. So yeah, go look up some of the stories of some fellow Virgos and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's see what else we have here in these Oracle cards, Virgo, so we can keep it moving. So we can keep it moving. Yes. Somebody knows this self-worth and they are adding zeros to it. Watch a movie. Yes. Is one of those people, those one of those Virgo celebrities name I, I called out? Maybe you're going to watch one of their movies. Maybe you want to watch, go watch one of their movies to be a little inspired by them. Let's see what else we have here before we close out your reading. Virgos. Virgos. Let's see. A new start is coming. New moon. We're in the new moon phase for the next seven days until the 8th of the month. Until the 8th of the month. The 8th of the month. And then we are in the... First quarter moon of Leo, but we're going to stay right here in the new moon phase right now so that you can stay focused. I don't want anybody overthinking ahead. Oh my God, we're going towards a new moon. So yeah, this is your time of rest and relaxation and really, you know, battling that devil on one shoulder and ascending to the angel on the other, to your higher self. Don't let your lower self keep pulling you down. So, but I do see somebody ascending to their higher self and you, somebody's ready to give birth to, uh, this partnership something you're very passionate about. Yeah. Your family is going to be very proud of you when they see what you've accomplished, despite all the distractions, they're going to be very, very proud of you. And then that's where it's going to be that, that talking piece. Like, you know what? I could have, I could have, and I don't want you to overthink. I could have been here a long time ago. Had I not given this so much attention, you had to go through this journey so that you'll know in the future, I don't need to overthink anything. Right. It's not enough to yearn for more in your life. Your desire must be specific. It must point from where you are to where you want to be. Yes, indeedy. Then we have I desire dot, dot, dot. Speak your intention. Yes, 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 yes. That is what I have for you, Virgos. I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday. I know you will because that's the intention you set, right, Virgos? Of course. Bye.